Normally when we worship at the altar of a supermarket in the West, they're very easy to find. This one here almost blends in to its surrounding. Today I'm going to take you into a local Dali. Whoops, they just turned the lights on. That'll mess up with the lighting. We're going to take you into a local Chinese supermarket here in Dali. As long as they let me film in here, if we can get away with it, we'll try. If I get thrown out, you won't see anything. Hello. Hello. So this is not the supermarket. This is just the, the sort of foyer where they sell all sorts of dried... These look like figs. I think they might be dried figs, dried herbs and nuts, ginger. Look at the size of these dried mushrooms here. Hello. 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 And the teas. Look at all the floral teas here. How pretty. Beautiful. Chamomile tea. So good. Okay, got to sneak past these security guards here and see whether I can get into the supermarket. Again, this is not the supermarket entrance, this is the exit. We're going to go up this little travelator here. Now, you might have checked out the, um, the Walmart, the big Chinese Walmart that we filmed in. This is a lot different to the Walmart. And this upper floor is where all the foods and groceries, perishable goods are. And you'll see there's the, uh, the down travelator. And then when you go downstairs, if you were to follow these ladies down here, you'll find all the, the washing, uh, what, toothpaste, uh, shampoos, laundry items, some hardware. But this is the food market. One of the things I found remarkable when I first got here is that you can actually get baby's bottles ready to go and they're glass. They're actually glass. And these pink ones here, how cool is that? Do you have anything like that back home? So we start off with the fresh vegetables. Some vegetables you might recognize, some you won't. Obviously the dragon fruit. There are chilies over here, mangoes, all sorts of snap peas, sugar, sugar snap peas, long beans, longer beans. I'm not even sure what these ones are. There's a, a variety of mushrooms. Spring onions, something that looks a little bit like a leek, celery, some herbs. We have some uh, coriander or cilantro here, um, another set of sort of mixed herbs. I'm not sure what. These are a chive, I think, of some sort. Tell me if you know better. Eggs are over here. These girls are selling like pickles. So we've got some chilies, some bean salads with chili in them. I have no idea what this is. This looks like pork crackling. There's some different types of beans here. Eggs, eggs, eggs galore. Here's the bakery area. The lady's got some um, some sort of pancakes with a filling inside and you've got some little dumplings on the front here now the prices I'm not sure if this is per piece 260 260 I think this is um, 17 per 500 grams or perhaps per kilo these are lovely these are like a bread and they're stuffed with vegetables so inside when you cut them through there's a green vegetable inside and then there's some buns typical steamed buns Hello. Now we're in the fish section. So we've got these tiny, tiny little elvin. No, no, I was going to say they're eels. Are they eels? Some of them look like eels. Some of them look like a small fish. And at the back there, we have some little turtles, would you believe? Some more little turtles here. Look at these fellas. Destined for, destined for the pot. And behind them, we have the little frogs. Don't judge, you know, it's a different world we're living in here. We can't come here and tell people what they can and they can't eat. 
persuade them maybe. Fish, fresh fish. You can buy your fish here and have it cut up. Over here we've got prawns on ice, crabs, some looks like some butterfish. I'm not even sure what these long fish are here. Maybe someone in the comments can tell us. And then you've got the usual chicken wings, chicken pieces, chicken thighs. On this side, okay, on this side we've got um, snouts and uh, pig's jowls and pig's ears. Look, so we've got pig's ears, uh, chicken feet. On the back there you have some small duck which has been fried. Wow, everything. How cool is that? So you see this is not like the, um, the Walmart we were in before. A lot different. Everything's out on show, it's fresh. You've got, um, what on earth is that? I'm not sure. Uh, beans, what are those beans called? Oh, tell me, I use them all the time. We've got some frozen foods here. Um, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. There's a little butchery area here, 750 for mints, but this is a very, very, very fatty mint. Yeah, fat's where the flavor is. Fat is where the flavor is. Right, now we're coming over to, what are we coming over to? I'm saying we're coming over to, as if I know what we're coming. Oh, these are dried noodles. So here are some dried noodles, different types. There's some green ones here, some dark green. Regular dried noodles, all different. It's a bit like um, pasta, really. You've got something that looks a little bit like a fettuccine or a tagliatelle. Um, here looks like some couscous. These are some rice crackers. I think these ones you fry and they puff up. Along here, we've got some uh, some cheese, I think. It could be a tofu. No, this is tofu. This is the local tofu. This is a smoked tofu. It is absolutely delicious. Have to try this. I would get this from the market where we, uh, where we filmed uh, on another video, the, the fresh market. The tofu is delicious. And a friend of mine was telling me the reason the tofu here is so good is because the water they use, the fresh spring waters are so good. Here we have all different types of yogurt drinks. Something like, your, well, a lot of people will know the Yakult, but there's so many other brands of yogurt drink here. Most of this aisle is yogurt drinks or fresh yogurts. This one is particularly a particular favorite of mine, the mango yogurt. It's very thick, very delicious. And then here we've got walnuts. We have dried, I don't know what this is dried. It looks like, no, it is mushroom. So it's a dried mushroom here. Some chilies, some fresh chilies. These ones over here, these are just regular dried mushrooms. So 32.90, I think it's a pound or 500 grams. These ones are like the little bat ear mushrooms. And you soak those, they come up beautiful and fresh. Here's some of your pulses. So these look like the sour, like the sour plums here. I could be wrong. These might be the sour plums. You can pause and look at the prices if you can read it. So we've got peanuts, we've got seeds, pulses, sunflower seeds of all sorts. Uh, these are just the regular nuts. This is very popular here in China. Um, these will be fried. You, you just fry them up. Fry them up and serve them with almost every meal. Then we've got a variety of different rices. There's a black wild rice here. Oh no, we're back into couscous. And there's some sort of mixed rice here with all different seeds and things in it. Here's another one. This one is rice. Tell me, do you know what this is? There's everything in here. 1480. I think it's per 500 grams. It doesn't, does it say here 1480? Per what? Per kilo? Per 500 grams. A lot of places are per 500 grams. This one here has got candied peel. How cool is that? So it's a rice with candied peel. All sorts going on. 
and it's all done by weight. These are the huge bags of rice. In Japan, rice was super expensive. Here, it's really, really cheap. Some more pulses, some, what is this, uh, like a oatmeal of some sort or a meal of some sort, maybe it's a rice meal. Some wild rice, brown rices, red rice, more pulses, more of this strange concoction here with everything going on, a mixture of rices, white rice, chilies, cooking oils. You see what I mean? I, I love this market. I, I, nobody's asked me to stop, so I'm carrying on. Look at the different varieties of rice, the different grades, so 398. You see here, it says per 500 grams. That is almost a pound, or a little over a pound. 320, 420 different rices for different foods and right next to the rice you have rock sugar so you can buy a big big slab of sugar like this or you can break it up into smaller pieces now we're we're at the pre-packed um, dried fruits and they love their fruit leather here there's all sorts of fruit leathers so here we've got different dried fruits mangoes um, kiwi fruits dried kiwi fruits I don't know what a lot of this stuff is if you know what it is you can comment down below this is a favorite of mine this is a sort of um, a broad bean these broad beans they're dried but they're spiced as well I'll just take one so you can see I love these and they sell them pre-packaged so a bag about this bit is about um, 70 cents US yum yum actually I'm gonna turn the camera off I'm gonna get some of these you can get them pre-packaged but I'm just gonna buy my own bag of these are these apricots dried apricots because I love these they're absolutely delicious over here we've got some some green raisins hello how are you you how so 5.90 for that lovely big bag of broad beans. <laughs> Thank you. They've got an, almost a curry flavor to them. So you, you get them in this almost sort of like linen type bag or this cotton bag, 5.90 for that big bag. That's, a, that's about a dollar Australian. Let's get over to the candy aisle. So here we've got all the candies. Oh, these are actually moon cakes. Different types of moon cakes. We've got the moon cake festival. They might not be moon cakes. They might not actually be moon cakes. I think these ones are. A lot of them will have red bean inside. Here we're at the bakery section. So everything's wrapped up. Beautiful baked uh, sweet breads, maybe with coconut, with red bean. Here you have a, a sliced white bread for around about a dollar 20, maybe about a dollar US for a white bread. Heaps and heaps of, well you tell me, heaps and heaps of what? What are these boxes? What do they contain? I did notice over here, they have a lot of oats and they actually have some oatmeal here. And this comes from Australia, which is kind of cool. Almost all of these oatmeals for making porridge come from Australia. Many varieties of rice cakes and cookies and biscuits. Look at these biscuits, how cool. 480 under a dollar. Shall I get some? Yeah, I think I might get some of these as well. I just like the color of them. I have no idea what flavor they are. I think we'll get some. But these are some that Michelle and I have had a few of. They're almost like a jammy dodger, but they come in all sorts of citrus flavors. So over here, you've got lime, um, you've got strawberry, raspberry, blueberries, coconut cookies, pot pans. For those of you that know what a pot pan is, here's some varieties, different varieties of pot pans. 6.90 for a pack of pot pans, 9.20. Probably a little expensive, it's maybe not a local cookie. Here you've got, a, uh, would this be a home brand cookie? Oreos, okay. So this is obviously a knockoff of an Oreo because 
here there's an Oreo with the same sort of design on it. I'm going to go for the local ones. Now, this might give you a clue as to what's in these boxes. It looks like it's a. Uh, is this Baidu? Yeah. It is, yeah? So this is Baidu. <laughs> Thank you. So this is all sort of presentation boxes of Baidu. What's on this side? So these are like uh, whoopie pies, a sort of, uh, what is that thing that they have in the US? Oh, the, the little sponge cake with the filling inside it. Very famous. Come on, someone tell me down below. Let me know what it is. Heaps and heaps and heaps of sweet cookies. They obviously really love their cookies here in China. Hello, Niao. Look at this, stinky milk, stinky milk. No, I'm not getting stinky milk. That is durian milk. I like durian, I don't like durian flavored things. Here we've got these little baskets you can get and then you can just fill them up with sweeties, different types of sweets, almost everything. Some of them you might recognize. Let's have a little look around. recognizing anything are you recognizing any of these sweets they're all done by weight by the way so here's one I know very well these are the little milk bears they call them milk bears um, little milky sweets 2180 per 500 grams so everything is marked up 28 27 27 80 so different prices 26 they vary a lot in price and the girl over on the counter over there she's not there at the moment she seems to know the price of everything so she must have to learn all the different prices you drop the basket there she'll sort them out price the whole thing up for you you bring it to this counter here there is stuff here I I can't even begin to describe these are, are like a potato chip 350 so under a dollar for a fairly big packet of potato chips more rice cookies these are these little sort of dried sausage now I've picked up this stuff now I haven't got my hand free to show you anything maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put these back and get them a little bit later on so at least I've got one hand free here's the girl hello how she, she has all of that stuff Look, rows upon rows of weighed candy. And she seems to know every single price. It would, would it, hello. Wouldn't it be better if everything was sort of roughly the same price? So I'm going to pop these. I'm going to pop them somewhere randomly and come back and get them a little bit later on. So friendly, the people here. I didn't think I'd get into too much trouble. And so far... I've been proven right, everyone's been friendly. So we've got the baby milks. Hopefully the quality is good enough you can see. Um, you can pause it and see. I think these are more alcoholic rice wines, all sorts of rice wines, about 108. So this beautiful box here for around about $14 uh, US, about $20 Australian sorry I'm not doing everybody's different currencies you can always just you know type it into Google it's easy look at the beautiful bottles here all these wonderful drinks if you know what you're buying and you know what you like here's some more familiar beers so uh, Dali a local beer 390 uh, this is about probably about 60 cents so under 50 cents US and then what looks to be like what does this look like um, what's the what's the dark beer Guinness so some Guinness is there a little more expensive uh, but still only about a, da a dollar maybe 70 cents so a nice variety now one thing I really like here in in China in Dali is that it's not all lager there are all sorts of dark beers and and sort of brown beers and another thing I really like is the Chinese they drink the beer at room temperature so you can taste it sure if you want to 
go for your Coronas, fully chilled. You know they taste rubbish cold, so you've got to chill them down. But good quality beers, like uh, some of these beers along here, like a good red wine, they'll only taste good if they're at room temperature. So here's a, 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 wine, a wine that I see all over the world, an Australian wine, Yellowtail, 75 per bottle. What is 75? It's about $12, maybe $10 US. So a little expensive. If you're gonna buy an imported wine like this, you're gonna pay a lot for it. But if you come over here and you see some local wines, 18. 25 so the prices drop right down it's up to you what do you want do you want to pay three dollars for a bottle of wine or twenty dollars for a bottle of wine you can choose but look how much variety there is here okay we spent long enough in the alcohol section i'm gonna head over and see what else they have in this fantastic supermarket so here's all the soft drinks down here um coca-cola that is Coca-Cola, by the way. It's just got the Chinese writing on it. it. Is around about it's under a dollar. It's probably only about 70 cents Australian, maybe 50 cents US, and all sorts of soft drinks. Most of the soft drinks are between three and five um, RMB, so about probably cheaper than most places uh, that I've been in Southeast Asia. What else have we got? trying to pick pick an aisle coffees the coffee selection in the supermarkets not good outside the local coffee is delicious it really is very good but the local sort of Nescafe you're gonna pay about 88 RMB for a jar of Nescafe um, and then you have to um, either choose whether you want to have powdered milk or whether you just have it black it's up to you I like a bit of milk in my coffee, but we haven't found a good supply of milk at the moment. Some honeys here. More sweets, but these ones, or candies, these ones are all packaged up, so the prices are clear. Uh, two RMB, three RMB. These look to be some sort of seaweeds, around about maybe 70 cents US. Okay, what else have we got? Turn the camera so you can have a look. Be careful, there's music playing. I'm probably going to get into trouble. That sounds like a bit of jazz. So many different oils. Peanut oil. Look at this big, what is this? A five liters of, of peanut Five liters or gallons of peanut oil for 53. So not super cheap, but... Um, what is that about ten dollars so it's not expensive actually it is cheap <laughs> again this one maybe um, a sunflower oil 62 so maybe about eleven dollars Australian about eight dollars US but there are so many oils look at the variety of cooking oils and this will tell you the Chinese love to cook at home there's so many cooking oils here dried noodles here hundreds of different dried noodles. All of these are packed of dried noodles. These ones as well, I think. Yep, all, let me just put this, let me put the, the broad beans under my arm. Big pack of noodles, a huge pack of noodles for about a dollar, just over a dollar. Over here, sauces, soy sauces, oyster sauces. Some you'll recognize, many you won't. So some of them have chilies, some of them don't. You notice when I'm near staff, I just talk nonsense. Some of them have chilies, some of them don't. I feel like I should say something. Some vinegars, different types of uh, distilled vinegars, rice wine vinegars. The sauces and the vinegars here, you just have to get to grips with them. There are so many. Some of them look like soy sauce, but they're a, a blend soy sauce and vinegars some of them look like they will be just a vinegar and they're actually an alcohol based rice wine based so cooking options I mean look just look at all the different sauces 
think there's more sauces than there are beer. Which says something, right? To have a whole aisle of just different types of soy sauce is quite amazing. And here we've got more dried mushrooms, but they're all packaged up. Some of the mushrooms can be extremely expensive. And around here in Dali, they have mushrooms growing in the wild, so you can buy them on the markets. Mushrooms like you've, you've never seen before. We are in the pot noodle aisle. One, two, three aisles of pot noodles. I'm not gonna go down them. You know what pot noodles, but the cup noodles or pot noodles here. Okay, look, I'll go down quickly. Like many other parts of Asia, the noodles are so much better than we have back home. They're actually quite edible, really quite delicious. A lot of this tamarind in different styles, whether it's tamarind pulps or tamarind seeds, they seem to be very popular. Um, dried jackfruit, we'll see dried durian. Here we've got dried pineapple. Yum, absolutely delicious. And now we're up with the jerky. So here is the dried meat. So 95, that's not bad, is it? $20. I'm saying it's not bad because jerky back home is so expensive. And that's like a yak jerky. I'm just coming away because the lady's stacking the shelves there. Um, more teas, I think, along here. Local Yunnan coffee. They sell the coffees here in Yunnan. Um, I think this could be, uh, it's possibly a, f a free in one or a powdered coffee, but little barrels like this, little tins shaped like barrels. Okay, you saw the, the powdered coffee was 88 for a jar of Nescafe. This is a local coffee, 22. Slightly smaller jar, but, but a lot cheaper. So if you want to try the, the local powdered coffees or the beans, which you can grind for roasting or they can sorry you can grind for drinking or the pre um pre, pre ground beans there are hundreds of varieties here for sale these are the flower cakes that we saw in other videos that i've made here in china being sold out on the streets so 24 for a packet of flower cakes i don't know if that's good value or not i'm not sure carry on I'm guessing this is a Dali V8. Must be a must. Is it a fruit juice? Little jugs here of um, black currant juice, uh, orange juice, nine eighty. So about a dollar forty US, two dollars Australian. Sorry, I keep giving you the Australian. I know a lot of you are watching from the US. I'm trying to give you at least two prices, and I do appreciate that some of you are from all other parts of the world but I'll give uh, the common US price. And like me, we have to sort of pump it into our exchange rate calculator or Google and work out what it is. So I think we're coming to the end of our trip around this local Chinese supermarket. I'm gonna go downstairs on the escalators now. And I'm not gonna film downstairs. It's pretty boring. It's soaps, toothpaste, bits and pieces. I'm going to close off here, just get ahead of this little girl, if I can. So, I hope you've enjoyed that look around a local supermarket. If you had a chance to see uh, the look around the Walmart, you can see a stark contrast to this local supermarket. And if you also want to check out I will be putting up very shortly, or I may have already put up uh, a local wet market, which is my favorite. The wet markets here are just fantastic. Anyway, share the love. Oh, I've got to go back up for the, uh, the cookies. Maybe I won't, I'll just go with the broad beans. Love to you all, take care. I will see you for some fun on the road very shortly. Be good. <laughs> Like this, this green tea is about 85.